Well, there is a feud happening right now between a local business owner and an elected official. The story involves Twitter, the Hamilton County Auditor, and the First Amendment. Walter Smith Randolph takes a look. Lindsay Swadner is a frequent critic of Hamilton County politicians on her Twitter account, The Hub OTR. She says it's her right to do so as a business owner and taxpayer. I, mean, I think that leading by example is a thing. So if I do it, I think others will be more comfortable to also voice their concerns. Swadner says it was this tweet that got her blocked by Hamilton County Auditor Dusty Rhodes. Um, I just thought it was uh, very concerning to block a constituent's First Amendment right because Twitter is almost just like a town hall. So I should be able to have a conversation with the county auditor at any time as a taxpayer. Which is why Swadner hired a lawyer to send this letter to Rhodes, threatening to sue if Lindsay wasn't unblocked. Justin Whitaker says it goes beyond being able to view the tweets. We think it's just concerning that public officials be doing public business during public time. Local 12 reached Rhodes by phone Wednesday. He declined an interview but said he initially blocked Lindsay because of foul language. He says he then unblocked her because he didn't want to waste county time defending litigation. He also told us that as auditor, he's always on the clock. Um, I know Auditor Rhodes might suggest that he doesn't have a 9 to 5, but his office does. Um, and as far as First Amendment goes, there's been a number of cases around the country discussing uh, the, the First Amendment rights of constituents to communicate with their elected officials on public spaces like Twitter. Whitaker is right. Last year, a federal appeals court ruled President Trump couldn't block critics because Twitter was an official channel of communication for the president. In 2019, former Claremont County State Senator Joe Eaker agreed to pay $20,000 to a constituent after blocking them on Facebook. Lindsay says she's glad to be unblocked, but the fight may not be over. I shouldn't have been blocked in the first place. I think my First Amendment's rights, uh, something that Dusty seems very um, into, should have never been blocked by Dusty. Walter Smith Randolph, Local 12 News. Rhodes hasn't responded to the demand letter, and he tells us he does not plan to.